The wall art category has different printing techniques. Each technique and product has different guidelines and design templates. You'll find the file guidelines on the product page near the title or in the description. If you happen to be creating the product in the Design Maker, you can click on the product info and pricing and guidelines, then go to Print File tab. Here are three things you need to keep in mind when creating designs for wall art. One, to ensure the best possible outcome, you need to use full bleed images with graphics that span across the entire dimension of the document. Two, we advise against using borders on your designs. Borders can appear uneven if the print is shifted during the cutting process. And three, images can either be horizontally or vertically oriented. When creating a product, upload your print file in the desired orientation. Printful does a really good job of providing great templates to work within, and this is going to be invaluable when trying to create your designs. The biggest advice I can give you is create your designs with these file guidelines in mind. Don't create your design and then try to adjust it later. Let's say you take a really small image that was made for, say, a phone case, and now you want to put it on a large poster that's 12 by 16. It's going to stretch and distort and become a bit more blurry. That's the issue that you're going to be dealing with when creating images that are too small and try to enlarge them. If you create the image at the size that you're going to print it at, it's going to come out much more clear. The best DPI to work with for printing is definitely 300. It will make your files a little heavier and larger, especially if you are going for a much larger product. The best design tool for graphic design, for me personally, is Adobe Illustrator. It is fantastic for manipulating lines, getting really straight and um, consistent shapes and colors and effects. Adobe Photoshop is also great for manipulating uh, images that are a bit more complex that you want to use as an effect. Now, I recognize that these are not exactly the most cost effective, so Krita is a great alternative for Illustrator, and it's generally free. And then PhotoP is a great alternative for Photoshop. If you're not interested in learning a new program to create designs or want something just a little simpler, use Printful's Design Maker to create your products. You can upload your own print ready designs, or if you need elements like a background or text or graphic add ons, we have hundreds of fonts, clip arts, and illustrations, and even images all at your disposal. In the Design Maker, you'll also notice the designs are organized in layers, so it makes it so easy to arrange and modify your elements. And over on the design window, you'll see all kinds of different tools to help adjust those individual elements, like this pattern tool, for example. Whether you bring a print ray design or create one within the design maker, once you finish your products, you can automatically add them to your store with your own design on the product mock-up images. The steps for the design process have to start with researching what you're going to be printing on. First, go to Printful, choose the product that you want to print with, and then download the print templates. This will help give you the parameters and constraints at which you would need to design within. From there, you need to know what you're going to design. When you're researching and creating your design, you need to make sure that it is going to be relevant and sell within your niche. Once you have your inspiration from your design research, you can start sketching it out. I like to do this on paper so that I can be as messy and creative as possible. From there, you're going to want to take a photo of the image. You want to do this from your phone or a scanner, anything that can get it from paper to digital. You're then going to upload it to your program of choice. In this case, I will do it from Illustrator. I will then put it on a bottom layer and lower the opacity so that I can see just the line art. Use the next layer to do my line art. After that, I'll work on colors. After that, I'll do shadows, then highlights, and then finally, any additional effects that the image might need that I feel it will push it just a little bit further. Now that you have completed your image and you are happy with it, you will export it as a PNG or a JPEG. A PNG if you want a transparent background or a JPEG if you want to preserve the background that you have. From there, you can then upload it to Printful through the Design Maker. You will then add it to your store or you can create samples to see how it will look. That's it for this video. 
Thank you, Matthew, for sharing your best tips and tricks with us. I hope all of you watching found them just as useful as I did. If you still have any questions, let us know in the comments. Now that you know how to design wall art, make sure to watch our video to learn how to sell them. See you in the next video. Bye.